Hi guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from WebSoftTutorials.com. In this tutorial, guys, I'm going to show you how to float elements using CSS. First of all, uh, we make a div tag. I'll give it an ID of one. I will set its color to one pixel, oh, uh, border to one pixel solid, and uh, I'll give it a width of 280 pixels and uh, height of 280 pixels. And it's uh, I'll set it background background color to I'll set it to red. So I will use it here. I'll write divide equal to do one. Firstly, I'll open the browser. Now you can see this box, guys. I don't want to see this box on the left side. I want to see this on the right side on the right side on the on my screen. But guys, if we will set it using a margin property, then it will not adjust itself according to the screen resolution. Because you know, every screen, every laptop screen is different from each other. It's mostly like uh, 14 inch, 15 inch, 19, uh, 17 inch. So it will not adjust itself according to screen resolution. If we are, if you will use margin property, so in order to do that, we will use float floating property. I will write, uh, write float and I will float right. If I refresh now, you can see this box on the right side of my screen window. So guys, after that, I will. I uh, in this way we can also set it to float left. It's on the left side, guys. I want to tell you one more thing that float always always work horizontally. It will not work vertically. It works from left to right. It will not work from top to bottom. This for uh, just suppose guys, you want to make an image gallery. So I will use it first. I will write. I will use I uh, class selector because we will use it again and again. I will write border one pixel solid width 180 pixels height to 280 pixels first we have to refresh it and I will use it here it's div class equal to because we are we have created a class so use div class and I will close it now you can see this box Oops, it's 280 I will type image image source equal to I have image in the same folder it's flars dot jpg it's a jpg image so I write flars dot jpg if I refresh it's not working oh, I have to close this image also it's, it's jpg yeah it's working right now. Guys, suppose I want to make an image gallery. So we have to put the image on the right side, or two images or three images. What I will do now? Guys, we will use float property. I will set it to float left. If I will write this again, I'll copy and paste it. Now I can see one more image is on the right side. So I will give it a margin of margin right to 20 pixels. Now you can see. I'll copy this again. Now you can see we have three images. Now you can you want to see, uh, you will see that. I want rest of the I want just three images in each row so how will go to next next row so for that firstly I will copy it I want to show you how can we do this I will copy it now you will say it's on the I want three images after that I want a line break and the rest of the images should be gone so for this we will use a br tag br clear call to Noted commas and we will close this PR tag. You can check this the syntax of the PR tag and first uh, after this after the uh, when we will refresh. Now you can see 
we have three images in the first line and three images in the second line and also I will also give the margin bottom set to 20 pixels I can see in the same way I will copy this br tag and because guys br will clear the floating so now you can see we have one more three we have three more images in the next row as now you can see this is just like an image category so guys uh, I think it's enough for this video so don't forget to subscribe my channel in order to get recent updates about my videos let's see the next tutorial